Petty Tupac TV. You already know. Tap the fuck in, man. We running this shit up. ABF or die, bitch. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What up, though? You already know how it goes. Smash, like, subscribe, comment. I don't care what you comment. As long as you comment, you dig. I'm about to break down the 10 crack commandments. You dig? I'm about to break down the 10 crack commandments. I'm not telling you go out there and sell drugs. I'm not saying that. But this is a phenomenal song for people to listen to and envision what goes on out here in the streets and the rule to survive because it's a wild wild jungle out here man i want to do this with y'all just something different bring something different man let me know what y'all think man but we're gonna break this down real quick Never let no one know how much do you hold Cause you know that try to breed jealousy Especially if that man fucked up Get your ass fucked up, brother Rule number uno, never let no one know how much dough you hold. You know, jealousy, bring envy, so on and so forth. So when you out here getting money, it's not always imperative for you to be out here flashing and splurging that you got money. You should stay low-key off to the side because when you get to stunning, you make people even around you that's in your circle get money with you jealous that you get more money and you outshining them. You dig what I'm talking about? It's a real, real vindictive, jealous, treacherous, dirty game. So you never let nobody know what you getting and what you really doing. Uh, prime example, I remember a brother, you know, mentioning the name, they asked me um, when I paid them, I paid them um, for what the videos they did for me, and they asked me, how much money you get off of it? I was like, nothing, bro. And I couldn't come up, I didn't want to come up with a lie, I didn't want, you know, none of that, so I ain't feel right by lying at that particular moment in time, so it was like, hey, bro, it ain't, it's really none of your business. And they got mad because they wouldn't find out, they couldn't find out how much money I made off these videos don't matter what I'm doing. Even when I was in the streets, when I'm getting it, I really don't want you to know. I wore the same clothes every other day, come out dusty, or not, not even dusty, just regular, normal stuff on. I don't want you to think I'm winning because that's when guys start climbing through windows and kicking dogs. Number two. You already said bad boys move with silence and violence. Other guys, when they when they, when they get into it with people, they get they hop on the internet. I'ma do this to you when I see you. I'ma shoot this. I'ma do that. I'll be at your mama house. We smoking our packs. Put it in a raps. They hit the man at the stoplight with a 40 cal five times. They they building up everything they need for an indictment on those murders or whatever happened, robbery, so on and so forth. Man, bad boys moving silence and violence. Ain't no talking. It's just it, it's just up. It's just up, man. When you see me or I see you, it is what it is at that moment. So you, you keep your mouth closed. Stop talking so much, man. Stop talking so much. You know, a lot of these cases that people get for homicides, you know, they got to find the motive, right? They got to they gotta find the motive in most of these cases. And the music, actions, Facebook posts, so on and so forth, talking to too many people, they they end up finding the motive somewhere somewhere down the line. You did on something so keep your mouth closed. You heard him? Never trust nobody. Your mama said that. Your mama set you up. You don't trust nobody, man. Nobody. This game is treacherous. The game is treacherous. You making ten thousand a day? He could be making nine thousand a day and mad that he ain't making a ten thousand. Like, bro, you just a thousand behind me, man. You you could be making a thousand dollars a day. He could be making nine ninety nine, but he feel a certain type of way. You dig what I'm talking about? Never get high off your own supply. Never get high off your own supply. Duh. The best the best workers, the ones that don't. The best. Hustlers the ones that don't do what they sell. They don't need what they sell. And that'd be a lot of people's problem. They start messing with the product they moving. Whatever it might be. It might be hamburgers. It might be drugs. It might be anything. They start messing with it a little bit too much and they're cutting to their profits. Tell them bounce. Never sell where you rest at. I don't care if they want to ounce where but Basically, don't sh where you lay, okay? That's as that's, that's simple as that. Like I told y'all in the last video I did, I never show nobody where I live at. I never did interviews with people where I live at. I always 
go to them or meet up at a mutual spot or something like that. I, I never invite them here because even with the last situation I had with the one brother, it's like everything cool. You got dreams. This your brother, man, so on and so forth. Things could go wrong at any time. I done been in situations where me and my man's getting money. I'm talking about we get money. We, 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 we got girls together. We doing everything together, man. Dinners, uh, raising our family, so on and so forth. And it just all go wrong over a few dollars. And then it, it go too deep to the point somebody want to do something to you. Well, they need to find you and, and, and pop up where you at to do something to you. And it, and if you got to go home every day, that's a destination that somebody can sit, wait, and lay for you. So I never show people where I rest at. Man. Never, ever. I don't care if they Moorish Americans. I don't care if they Bloods. I don't care if they GDs. I don't care what, what type of relationship I got with them. No matter how cool we is, you're not knowing where I stay at, homie, at all. That credit debt, it think of here paying you back, you can forget it. Credit. And you can relate this stuff to, le to being legit too in a business. It's, it's, it's credit, debt, it, think of credit, it paying you back, forget it. They'll tell you any excuse in the world. Man, I got a $50,000 check coming Monday from a lawsuit. You can ask my mama and, them, and his mama I vouch for it. You do what I'm talking about? That, no, strictly money. You need cash, man. You're not running no credit service. You do what I'm talking about? Go somewhere else when you, when you want credit. Come to me when you want quality and quantity, period. Go somewhere else with the credit stuff, man. Guys do anything when they on that stuff to get it. And even giving it to people who don't do it to, to sell it and move it. Once they get the money, they don't want to pay you back. Why they in the, Why you think they're in the position that they in that they got to borrow it from you anyway? And they've been in the game for a while. Simple man. This rule is so underrated. Keep your family and your business completely separated. Money and blood don't mix like two dicks and no bitch. Find yourself in serious shit. This rule completely underrated. Keep your family and business completely separated. It don't mix like two and one. Find yourself in serious. Keep family and business separated because sometimes you got to step on your family. Sometimes you, you got to fire your family. Sometimes you got to cut off your family. And when you deal with your family and business, they feel like you owe them something. I used to change your diapers. Oh, I let you live with me once, but we doing business, we get money. You can't be messing up this, this, and that. And then your family feel like you're supposed to talk to them a certain type of way. You can't talk to them like anybody in the street. So you keep your family and business completely separated. Don't mix like two and one chick. Find yourself in serious sh rap. Number eight, uh, never keep no weight on you. Sometimes the sweet your gun. Ten jumps too. Never keep no weight on you. Those guys that squeeze, they can hold it too. Never keep it on you. Have it always in somebody else's house, somebody else's possession. If you're riding, make sure the car is somebody else's name, whatever the case may be. Let somebody else drive. You, feel, you do what I'm talking about? Let somebody else do whatever. You don't want to hold it. Simple. Waiting to start hitting. So this is one rule in prison, man. If you're not getting bags, you ain't getting money. You're not getting fornicate. You're not fornicating with a with a CEO. You're not getting nothing from the outside world. You're not getting no type of privilege, like. And people know that this is happening. You stay away from police because you up in their face all the time. People in the streets or in prison, they'll that they, they, hey, man. He's snitching. He working. You seen the, the story that happened with Polo, the uh, Moabite versus Saginaw, San Diego versus Polo. Go look at the video. He all in the police face all the time. Nobody confirm if he's snitching or not, but he's just too friendly. He getting too many uh, prison type of privileges and not no money behind it. What do you want them police face for? So you don't want to get nobody no opportunity to ask you out, especially when you get money or doing your thing and you fly and you got a lot of jealous ones anyway. Don't give them an opportunity to ask you out or use something against you. Consignment, strictly for live men. Say hell no, cause they gon' want their money when they sleep, hell snow. Follow these rules, you have mad bread to break up. If not, 24 years on the wake up. You heard what he said? You follow these rules, you have mad bread to break up. If not, 25 years on the wake up. So I'm telling you, all right, this, 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 and that, and this is what he mean. But you don't follow all these rules, and you don't dot your I's, cross your T's, slant your P's, you gonna be on that bunk. It's like the bar I got, man. This lifestyle enticing to them fed serving diamonds. And you in that cell right and stuck. Wondering which one of your homies, your baby mom's about to... You did what I'm talking about?
you're going to be in that prison cell. It's a, it's a lot of consequences to this game. They can come from anywhere. Your homeboy can bring them to you. Your cousin, somebody going to mess up somewhere down the line, use a the phone they weren't supposed to use, and that's the last piece of evidence they need to come get you. When the feds come get you, they already got a certain amount of evidence. Nobody really beats the feds. Nobody really beats the feds. You get real lucky if you do. You might find some rookies or them reaching on the case and hoping somebody breaking they don't. So that that's that come with the game. He said it's a word called consignment strictly for lying man. So what do you mean by a consignment is that that's a front. When you ain't got the money, give it, dog, give it to you. And you better have a clientele for whatever you trying to get off because a lot of guys are not going to accept it back. Hey, no, uh -uh, I don't want it back. Oh, you ain't got my money? So if you can't get it off or if you know you're going to end up smoking it or whatever the case may be, lose it, go to jail, whatever, consignment is for live me. When they front it to you, you better be able to get it off and come back with the moolah. Nobody want their stuff back. You be what I'm talking about? I've, I've been in positions where a guy gave me something, and, I, and it wasn't because I wasn't a live man, but he gave me something that wasn't good at all, and he didn't want it back. But he ended up taking it back because he knew, like, at the end of the day, dog not going to pay me, and then he going to stand on what he stand on. You know what I'm saying? So he, he pulled those tricks with a lot of people to where it's bad, this and that, and all. You better get it off. He couldn't get it off because it was bad. But he wants you to ruin your clientele for it. It's a dirty, treacherous game, man. Go get a job. You ain't got to worry about none of that but punching the clock. Your only discrepancies is going to be, hey, I worked the extra hour. You didn't put it on my paycheck. You go to Human Resources and get it fixed. Get it verified, get it fixed. That's all. With Human Resources ain't about to come shoot you up or pressure you to work another hour or you owe him this or you owe him that or collateral and all that stuff, man. Step out the streets. Jacob. Sniff the whole half of cake up. Gotta go, gotta go. No pies to bake up. Word up. That's basically what I just said. He go to jail, your girl, she back doing drugs. She back out here in the streets. She with dog, this, this, and that. She cook good, whatever she, you know what I'm saying? So it's it's a game that you, it, it, it's, it's good while you're getting it. But when it come crashing down, it come crashing down. Trust me, I seen a little change, and a lot of that went to lawyers, paying people not to come to court, paying people for forgiveness, paying people not to go and do bonds, bail bondsmen, bonding other people out so they won't tell on me sitting up in that jail. Got to make sure I keep my word. Hey, you'll be out as soon as you get a bond, homie. Don't say nothing. I want to see. I'm gonna see the statement. Go get the lawyer. We want to see any statements made. No statements made. You getting up out of jail? I'm telling my own spent close to $30,000 or, or maybe a little bit more. Yeah, maybe a little bit more for sure. And legal fees. I'm talking about all around legal fees, not just paying for a lawyer, but paying for bonds, bondsmen, and everything that come with it. Tethers, all types of stuff. Paying for three people tethered at the same time. That's 600. Bond them out. Uh, $2,500 a piece to the bail bondsman. You do the math. You do you do the math on that real quick. That's, that, that's, that's half of 30 bands damn there already. Oh, you Took a loss on the bag. Oh damn, you lost five thousand worth. That loss gone. That, that come back. You know my profit. I don't even see it no more. My profit. My re I don't see it no more. So the gang gonna always cost you more if you get caught up than you usually make. Don't too many big big ones get out of jail and still rich. It's hard. And you always think that no matter what you do, you go back. That's another video. We gonna start right here, man. Big five to y'all. Make sure y'all smash like, subscribe, and comment. Hey, peace and blessings be to y'all, man. Big five.